Hello and welcome to The Voice of Iron, and in this session, we'll be reading about the Viper Mark IV. The Viper Mark IV is a ship manufactured by Falcon de Lacy. It's an upgraded variant of the Viper Mark III, and is classified as a heavy fighter craft designed for ship-to-ship -ship combat superiority. Its improved internal modules, including a larger power plant, allow it to branch out from its predecessor's combat specialization and take on a wider number of roles. As with its predecessor, the Viper Mark IV is a favorite choice as a patrol vessel for security forces across the galaxy. The Viper Mark IV is a heavier variant of the Viper Mark III that sacrifices mobility for increased toughness. Its appearance is very similar to that of the Mark III, and it can be difficult to tell the two apart, especially with the former ship's kit. By default, the Mark IV has weaker shields than the Mark III due to its higher hull mass. However, the Mark IV is capable of fitting a larger Class IV shield generator, whereas the Viper Mark III is limited to a Class III. This results in the Viper Mark IV potentially having much stronger shields than the Mark III. Stronger shields combined with a higher base hull and more space for hull reinforcement packages can make the Viper Mark IV substantially more resilient than the Mark III. These improvements come with the drawbacks of slightly reduced turn rate and speed. This makes it vulnerable to attacks from more nimble ships like the Eagle Mark II and Cobra Mark III, and can be a disadvantage in a direct firefight against a Viper Mark III. Worthy of note is that the Viper Mark IV suffers from heat dissipation issues, similar to that of its predecessor, though it does run slightly cooler. Additionally, with a Class IV power plant, it can more easily power weapons with high power draw such as railguns, as well as better defenses such as shield boosters. Though it is one of the least agile small ships, it is also one of the toughest. It is far more resilient than any other ship in its price range, and can hold its own in a pure combat role. Additionally, a fair cargo capacity makes it a viable option for a pirate. Although the Viper Mark IV is a small ship, it is one of the best options for beginner deep core asteroid mining. Its internal compartments and hardpoints can fit the necessary mining tools and still have space for 32 to 40 tons of cargo. Furthermore, such a build costs less than 10 million credits, making it affordable to all but the newest commanders. Miners can use the Viper Mark IV to earn their way to superior mining ships, such as the Python, Crate Mark II, and Type IX Heavy. The Viper Mark IV can be useful as a multi-role. With a maximum cargo capacity of 54 tons, it is a surprisingly effective trader for a fighter class, and an above-average jump range lets the ship take on an explorer role. Compared to the Cobra Mark III, a similarly priced ship, the Viper Mark IV is slower, with a worse turn rate, but faster acceleration in all directions. It has a lower cargo capacity, 54 compared to 64, and a slightly worse jump rate than the Cobra Mark III. What sets the Viper Mark IV apart from the Cobra Mark III, however, is its substantially stronger shields. Even with a Class III shield generator, the Viper Mark IV has almost twice the shield strength of a Cobra Mark III. With a Class IV, it has even stronger shields than that. This means that the Viper Mark IV can sacrifice hull reinforcement for cargo space without making as large a sacrifice in terms of defensive capabilities compared to the Cobra Mark III. Commanders looking for a ship that can deliver similar multi-role performance to that of the Cobra Mark III and still be able to take a few hits may appreciate the Viper Mark IV. Overall, the Viper Mark IV exchanges mobility for defensive capabilities and can be more appealing to pilots who prefer bulkier ships. Whether it is better or worse than the Mark III comes down to the preference and skill, though it does have a much higher price. The Viper Mark IV's hardpoint options are identical to those of the Viper Mark III. It has two Class I hardpoints located on either side of the cockpit, and two Class II hardpoints located beneath it. Unlike the Viper Mark III, which has underside mounted Class II medium hardpoints on a horizontally flat plane, the Class II medium hardpoints of the Mark IV are on a slightly angled part of the hull. The hardpoint placement on the Viper Mark IV gives it excellent convergence with fixed weapons, but a narrow field of fire when using gimbal or turreted guns. The Viper Mark IV has a delta-shaped hull, which is significantly wider than the Mark III. The cockpit is situated just behind the bow, slightly raised. 
compared to the Mark III, the Mark IV's cockpit is less exposed. The Mark IV lands on two small rear struts and one large front strut which doubles as a boarding ramp to the cockpit. The Pilots' Federation chooses to summarize the Viper Mark IV as follows. The Viper Mark IV is a heavy combat ship manufactured by Falcon de Lacy. Its ability to equip a Class IV power plant makes it ideally suited for long-range combat missions. While its armor allows it to soak up much more punishment than its predecessor, the Viper Mark III, these features come at a cost, however, making the Mark IV heavier and less agile than the Mark III. That concludes today's reading, and thank you for listening to my voice.